Donald Trump, Barack Obama and Joe Biden all walk into a bar somewhere on the south side of Dublin. I'll take a seat and proceed to talk about the best video game franchise ever made. I'll proceed to talk about the topic that has divided Mass Effect fans for over a decade. I'll proceed to talk about Mass Effect's controversial ending. On the red side, we have Donald J. Trump representing Destroy. On the green side, we have the Bidens trying to bring both parties together in organics and synthetics. And on the blue, Obama looking to control the Reapers. If you ever wondered how this conversation will play out in a debate like setting, well, here's the video for that. Shout out to Prime Radiancy for putting this together. Um, I'm going to drop his link in the description. Let's go. Good morning, afternoon and evening viewers. Today, the boys and I will debate the ever controversial endings to the Mass Effect trilogy. There are technically four Mass Effect endings, and I think we should all go ahead and remove the obvious shit tier one from the equation. The refusal ending is the worst possible outcome. 10 million percent, you let the Reapers win, and you caused the deaths of all your friends and allies. Ashley, Rex, Tally, Miranda, everyone dies. And even if it has a happy ending when the next cycle defeats the Reapers, it still leaves a sour taste in the mouth knowing that all our loved ones probably died painful and lonely deaths. I don't even want to imagine Jack or Kasumi being melted into biomass. Refusal is only worth it just to shoot at the star child. Thankfully, it isn't really an ending, so we can move it aside and talk about the big three endings. Um, just a quick one on this. While I do agree the refusal ending is the worst possible outcome and no one in the right mind should actually choose that ending, I do believe it can be a viable ending if you change certain aspects. And what I mean by this is, the idea of sacrificing a large portion of the galaxy in its current form to ensure the next cycle has the tools to fight the Reapers isn't actually a bad concept. After all, this is what every cycle has been doing in relation to the Crucible, each one building on what came before in hopes they would be the one to finish the Crucible to take out the Reapers. Overall, it doesn't make for a great ending and it's somewhat anticlimactic, but it still makes for a great story. Back on topic. Now it's my understanding we all conveniently favor different conclusions. Donald, I'll let you say your bit first. Thank you, Barack. The destroy ending is the best outcome. You completely remove the Reapers from the equation and rid the galaxy of those damned robots. And just like that, I'm done being kind to you, Donald. The destroy ending is only the best outcome if you hate synthetics. Killing the Geth and Edie is tantamount to mass genocide, especially if you achieve peace on Rannoch, which causes the Geth to become true individuals. One of the core ideals of Mass Effect 3 is achieving peace and harmony between all peoples. Making peace between the Krogans and Turians, peace between the Geth and Quarians, and uniting the galaxy against the Reapers. By destroying the Reapers and all other synthetics, by extension, you spit on that ideal and prolong the chaos. So I'm going to push back here a bit. Mass Effect's core isn't necessarily about achieving peace between all races. I would say there's more of a focus on sacrifice. We understand that nothing comes in black and white and everything is grey. That's essentially what makes the franchise amazing. You have to make difficult decisions. So there's a chance you might need to let the Genophage continue because you really do believe it's the best outcome for the galaxy. Same way you maybe had to sacrifice the Quarians or the Get, or choose to let Rachni live or not. There's no wrong answers here. And if there's no wrong answers, but there's bad outcomes, how can the pillar be bringing all races together peacefully? By destroying the Reapers and all other synthetics, by extension, you spit on that ideal and prolong the chaos. The Geth only side with you because the Reapers are a bigger threat. Who knows what could occur decades, centuries, or millennia later. The Geth seek further improvement and may one day seek improvement by taking over the entire galaxy. That supposition, Donald, you don't know that the Geth are going to do that. It's what happened with every other race of synthetics throughout galactic history. The catalyst is clear about this. And since when do we trust a word the catalyst says? So you say, Joe, but you're a fan of synthesis, which the catalyst claims is the most ideal ending. Trump is right here. The idea of just dismissing the catalyst as a liar isn't really fair, especially when it comes to its motivations. I say this because we have confirmation from the Leviathans that the Catalyst and the Reapers were built to deal with the organic versus synthetic situation, a problem that had been reoccurring over and over and over again. And if you really think about it, if the Catalyst is a liar, then it really doesn't have to inform Shepard about any ending. In fact, it could literally just provide Shepard with the ending it wants. But it doesn't, it actually gives Shepard four endings. Which leads me to believe it probably has a foundation, certain parameters it must follow. It can't lie outright, but it can probably nudge Shepard in the direction it wants. That's why it doesn't dismiss destruction, 
but tries to persuade Shepard to go for synthesis instead. And since when do we trust a word the Catalyst says? So you say, Joe, but you're a fan of synthesis, which the Catalyst claims is the most ideal ending. That's because it is. Synthesis stays true to the core ideals of Mass Effect 3 by creating harmony between all species, by making everyone organic and synthetic hybrids. Edie's dialogue at the end is clear. Synthesis creates galactic peace where everyone has access to all of the galaxy's knowledge. Wars end, disease ends, and everyone may even transcend mortality. It is truly the best end state for any society, one that we hope to reach in real life itself. Synthesis doesn't even make sense, it's just magic. Adding Shepard's DNA to the crucible turns everyone into organic robotic hybrids? Shepard is barely robotic themselves. Are you telling me all it takes is throwing someone with a pacemaker into the catalyst to change the framework of the galaxy completely? Donald's synthesis is as much magic as destroy is. Why would a random red wave of energy destroy the Reapers? It doesn't even blow them up, they just fall over and stop moving. Joe, there's also the fact that synthesis completely robs the entire galaxy of their right to choose. You, without consent, change the bodies and minds of all people. This moral problem is something that Shepard themselves will bring up to the catalyst. It isn't our right to make such a big decision. Synthesis doesn't make sense. So there's a few points here. One, Trump is right. Synthesis is magic-like. Two, Joe is wrong. Detroit isn't simply magic. In 2023, we know EMPs work. We know there are coronal mass ejections or solar flares from the sun that can dramatically change Earth's magnetic field, which can cause power grids to fail as equipment is affected or destroyed. So if we think a little bit bigger, what could a mass relay kill switch do on a massive scale? We're talking about technology that allows you to jump from one end of the galaxy to the other. My guess is it will likely wipe out all sentience and electronics in the galaxy. So destroying control, at least I believe, is grounded in Mass Effect's foundation. Synthesis, not so much. The other talking point here is synthesis robs the entire galaxy of the rights to choose. I disagree with this because Shepard to me is an avatar, and I don't mean just for humanity, but for every race in the galaxy. We weren't explicitly given these powers, but I don't think it has to be said. Over and over again, Shepard made decisions that affected multiple different races such as the Get, Quarians, Rachni, and Krogans. And you made these decisions based on your relationships and morals. So why stop now? Now I know I'm not hearing this from the guy who picks Control, which is even dumber than Destroy. Control is the perfect ending because it solves both problems. By controlling the Reapers, Shepard can enforce the ideal society the galaxy needs. If the Krogan get out of hand, God Shepard can handle it. Plus, you don't have to lose anyone. Edie and the Geth both survive. Barak, Control is just a roundabout way of robbing the galaxy of its free will. Renegade Shepard even says they'll raise an army to enforce their will on the galaxy, protecting the strong from those that oppose them. Paragon Shepard claims they'll be a guardian protecting the many. Whatever the hell that means, Shepard is still saying they'll impose their rule on the galaxy. At least in synthesis, everyone is free to choose what they want to do. And how could you say Control is the best ending? You're leaving the fate of the galaxy in the hands of an AI. And need I remind you, an AI is what created the Reaper cycle in the first place? But this AI is Shepard, the person we shaped over the course of three games. That thing isn't my Shepard. We have no idea what conclusions it might come to, Barack. You said yourself that if the Krogan get out of hand, God Shepard can handle it. But who's to say God Shepard won't go too far? This is exactly the kind of thinking that the Catalyst likely had as it observed the organics during the Leviathan cycle. Control personally to me isn't a bad option. I understand the issue with centralizing one person with so much power. But the truth is, who else would I trust with this power but myself? Throughout the games, we've made difficult decisions as a Spectre. All Control is doing is essentially giving you better tools to ensure we carry out our mission, which is to ensure peace in the galaxy. Now the other complaint here is, now that Shepard has fused with the Reapers, he isn't entirely the same person, which I can agree with. What I will say here is, that might not be a bad thing. If you think about it from a different perspective, Shepard is human and only acts based on his or her experience. When fusing with the Reapers, you essentially have access to thousands of different harvested races' minds. It allows Shepard to look at things differently, which is probably what's needed to ensure peace in the galaxy. So Shepard might come to the conclusion that the organic versus synthetic conflict will always happen, but it might come to a different conclusion on how to prevent it, a better solution. Which again is essentially what red, blue and green is, a different option. 
this isn't me advocating for control, but I'm just saying it's not as bad as people make it out to be. Destroy is the best ending for creating the most amount of peace without robbing people of their free will. Do you mean besides the free will of the synthetics and the Milky Way, Donald? Even if I did feel sorry for the damn bots, synthetics don't matter more than organics. Our original goal was always to destroy the Reapers, to remove them from the galaxy. Synthesis and control keep the Reapers around, but in a different form. Plans can change, Donald. When an alternative and better path is shown to us, we're free to change our minds. Even though control was the elusive man's idea, an idea he reached while he was indoctrinated, picking control makes it clear you've fallen for the catalyst's indoctrination. The indoctrination theory is just that, a theory. This isn't Mythbusters Donald, don't bring that trash ass idea to me. The indoctrination theory being canonized would unironically make for an even worse ending. Speaking of canon, we all know the destroy ending will be canonized in Mass Effect 4 since we saw a dead reaper. We also have confirmation of Liara talking to a geth, which means it can't be the destroy ending you love so much. A dead reaper doesn't say much. That could be any reaper that got shot down during the war. However, we don't see the green circuits of synthesis on Liara's face in the reveal trailer. And with the geth around, that could only mean it's control that's canon. That's malarkey. They could just be hiding the circuits. That sounds like cope. Face it, even Destroy has a better chance of being canon than Synthesis. Synthesis limits itself by being the so-called cure-all to the galaxy's problems. With no more conflict in the galaxy, you can't write any additional stories. The same is true of Control. There is nothing to write about with God Shepard in the galaxy. Anything that happens can be concluded with and then the Reapers blew them up. So you admit that Destroy doesn't actually solve any of the core issues in the galaxy. Don't you put words in my mouth. Admittedly, Destroy leaves more room for better storytelling, but we're not discussing which makes a better sequel. Canon ending. All endings are possibilities, to be honest, with synthesis likely being ruled out. But what I would tell Bioware is just to pick one and stick with it. The idea of trying to accommodate all three endings would just lead to inconsistencies. So the best bet would just be to canonize one. But going off the first trailer, it could be any ending, to be honest, because all endings could have a dead reaper. But I admit that it leads towards Destroy. Destroy is the best option for a Mass Effect sequel as you can imagine the chaos that comes with rebuilding the galaxy, factions going at each other, races fighting over resources, and of course, Shepard coming back. But I won't discount Control entirely simply because Reaper Shepard can retreat to dark space only intervening when things are extremely dramatic or drastic. So if the Yark decide to take on the galaxy or the Krogans get trigger happy for example, Reaper Shepard can step forward from dark space to quell that rebellion or whatever you want to call it. But when it comes to local problems, it will likely just take a step back, which means Mass Effect will primarily focus on smaller intimate stories as opposed to the grandiose ones, which to be honest is what Mass Effect fans primarily want. Again, that's not me saying it's the best outcome, it's me saying it can work if they really wanted it to. And that's basically it. The rest of the video is basically Bernie Sanders talking about how the, the Citadel DLC is the main ending, which I obviously disagree with. But I'll, I'll just let it play out for you guys. Um, that's it. Donald has a point that control and destroy remove the catalyst from the equation, but in synthesis, that thing remains, watching as the only person who can threaten it dies. Speaking of which, destroy is the only ending where Shepard can live. You can live happily ever after with all your friends and romance option. Only if you have a high enough effective military score, Donald. If you're factoring in the perfect destroy ending, you must factor in the low effective.